Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Eshe o o o baba. Eshe o Jesus. Eshe baba. Eshe o. Eshe o. A tini kati To see today again, O Lord, we have gathered to come and praise you, to worship you, adore you, and to come and pray over our lives. Come into our midst tonight. Come in your majesty in our home. Let your fire fill every area of our life. Do not make us to be empty. Fill us with your word. Fill us with your spirit. Amen. Greater works you say we shall do. Amen. Let that be our portion. Amen. And we shall never ever be put to shame. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Jesus, wonderful name we pray. Amen. Jam your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Let's listen to one or two announcements. Uh, want to on a topic which I've sent to us in the morning. Oh Lord, take away my reproach. I didn't know that. Yes, this will be the second time this year I'm ministering on reproach. But the angle I did it, the first one is not the angle I'm taking on this night. Because uh, I see some of us that say we don't have testimony. I, I don't know a lot about our testimony. You know, my own testimony is on uh, 
can't even, I can't even tell it all. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me. Oh. I cannot tell it all. So, 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 so I can shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout, shout. Praise the Lord. What is a reproach in the ordinary times? Let me tell you anything that can degrade your life is a reproach. Whatever will make your life to be out of the ordinary is a reproach. What is a reproach again from my own angle? A reproach is something that will give you shame. We give you blame and disgrace. See the issue of my manager? He went in shame. We were able to see the person he sent to go and buy acid, raw acid, with sniper out together to drink in order to commit suicide. That one is a shame. It's a disgrace. What is a reproach? To me, again, reproach is a sickness. Why did I say it's a sickness? I told us in the morning when I was doing my posting, when God spoke to me, I said, dear God, dear God, dear God, may we never, ever, ever have sickness that will require fund raising. Amen. You know, I... When I was saying the morning, some of us did not know the gravity of that uh, prayer. Some saw the prayer, ignore it, just read it, I ignore. They never on the platform acknowledge the prayer. I'm praying for somebody again. May you never be sick to the extent that you will need money or fundraising to treat yourself in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is a reproach? From my own angle again, it is a disease. Disease can come in any form. You are okay yesterday, does not mean today you can be okay. You are okay today, cannot mean tomorrow you are okay. Was it not suddenly we all woke up 2020 and we found what we call COVID 19? And the COVID 19 is still going about looking for their customer. Like the President of the United States of America yesterday, they say he had COVID-19. A whole President of the United States of America, he had COVID-19. COVID-19 will never be your portion. Amen. What is reproach from my own angle again? It is a complete failure. You are a failure. If failure comes your way, you are a failure. There is nothing you can do to it. It's only God that can remove the failure. I pray for somebody today. In whatever area of life that you have ever failed or you are failing or failure is coming, may you never encounter such again in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is reproach? I have my reason for going through all this that is different from the part the one I did early part of the year. Reproach is a lack when you don't have money to spend. Oh, low lack is a reproach. I pray for you. The Lord will take away every reproach you see in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, anything that will not promote your life, that is making your life to nose dive, relegate your life. It's a reproach. Not only that, when you become uncomfortable, whenever people do things and they triumph, you do your own and you fail, it will tell you your, that your life is not worth living at all. Whatever that will make life not worth living for you, physically, socially, financially, academically, 
God will take you them away with your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, whatever will also affect the fiber of your career or in my marriage, it's a reproach. But there is a good news for you today. And what is that good news? No more reproach for you. Amen. No more reproach for Amen. you. No more reproach for you. Amen. I can see a season of rejoicing for you. Amen. I know that. The children of Israelites, for 40 years, they were in the wilderness. They never got to the promised land. They never got to the land of their milk and honey. But suddenly, God allowed them to get to the place of honey. I prophesy to you again and again and again today. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will take away your reproach in the name of Jesus. Amen. What are type of reproaches? What are type of reproaches? I can tell you, reproaches has many colors. Reproaches have many means. Reproaches have many phenomena. But I pray for you today. The Lord Almighty, I'm coming here, the Lord Almighty will make sure that anything that is phenomenal uh, to sickness, to reproaches and affliction, the Lord will take away in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Reproach can be emotional. Not only emotional, reproach can also weigh you down in many areas of life. And I pray for you, every career approach, reproach in your life, the Lord will not allow you to see it again in the name of Jesus. Amen. I know that a man before that I've come to pray with me sometimes ago lost about three or four jobs. When he lost that job, a lot of things begin to happen in his life. Things were not working. His life and livelihood, everything became difficult. But when he came to me, God in his infinite mercy removed all his reproach. I pray for you today. God will remove your reproach in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to let you know that when there is manifestation of reproach in somebody's life, life will be very we then become very difficult. It is not the country that you live or the occupation that you do that will make you to be something in life. No. It is not because God is not involved. When God is involved, things will begin to work for you. I pray for you today. No more reproach in your life in the name of Jesus. I want to let you know Word will never fail you in life. Affliction will never fail you in life. I when affliction fail you in life, it will never come back to you again. Because the word of the Lord says, Affliction will not rise the second time. Whoever is mocking you because of your reproach, whoever is looking at you and they are laughing at you for all the suffering and delay you have in life, may those challenges today be taken off in the name of Jesus. Amen. Some of us have been married for many years without children. Some lost their marriage. Some lost their job. Some lost their social status. But I pray for you today. Whatever financial responsibility that you are to do and you have lost, may you recover today in the name of Jesus. I want to let you know another type of reproach is what it has to do with our financial life. You see, in this life, when you don't have money, you can't talk. When you can't talk, you can't be recognized. But I pray for you today. In whatever area of life that you cannot talk, God will help you out in the name of Jesus. It is true that things may be pretty, pretty difficult in our country today. But I pray for you. Things will not be pretty, pretty difficult for you in the name of Jesus. Very, very soon, I will come and rejoice with you. Your testimony shall be heard abroad in the name of Jesus. 
All this that we are talking about is because of the manifestation of God. Another reproach that I know is academic, academic and mental reproach. What is academic and mental reproach? Academic and mental reproach are the thing that will not allow you to pass the examination of life. And when you cannot pass the examination of life, things will be pretty, pretty difficult. I pray for you today. You will be able to go through every academic reproach that go through your life to be excellent, to excel in the name of Jesus. You will never ever be put to shame in the name of Jesus. But sometimes again, you want to teach yourself to make wealth. But it will be pretty, pretty difficult for wealth to come your way. But I pray for you today. Whatever you lay your hand upon, you will prosper, Amen. you will flourish, Amen. you will go higher Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. But how do reproaches come to people's lives? That is the question. How do reproaches come into people's lives? The most, most important reproach you must take note in your life is this. Number one. Inherited reproach. Oguto jogulori awo lowo awo baba re. Oguto jogulo awo yare. Oguto joguli no ebi re. You know, when you inherit some things from your parents, father side, mother side, family name, it will be pretty pretty difficult. Unfortunately, most of us don't know that not until when we choose the country we belong to. Or family we were born to. That's not what we are talking. Some of us, the family we are born to is that we shall never do well. You can never do well. That is some family that they are born to. But I pray today, God will cancel that for you. Amen. Some of us, we are born into a family that are caused to be poor. We have been caused never to be rich. It's not a joke. Oh. You inherit that, you see whether that Grandfather was poor. You, eh? you are poorer. And your children that you see, your very eyes are the poorest. Ah, Oluabe Yokuru. Oluabe Mi Yokuru. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Look, for example, Ruben, that was caused by Jacob, his father. He inherited, the children inherited that reproach. You know, when the father was trying to say he was blessing, but not knowing that it was cursing. He said, Ruben, you are the excellency of my power. You are my, my, my strength, my first child. But as unstable as water is, Ruben, thou shalt not excel. Ah, if there is any area you have been caused, your father has been caused. Your generation has been caused. May the Lord reverse them for you today Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, there are some of us that we are supposed to inherit blessings, blessings, blessings. But unfortunately, the vagabond nature of our parents have put us in this mess that we have found ourselves. Jesus confronted the situation in one boy in the Bible. He was blind, that boy. And he changed his reproach because he was born, what? Blind. I pray for you. In whatever area of your life you have been blinded, God will help you out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever reproach has followed you from your birth, terminates now, terminates now, Amen. terminates now. Amen. And whatever is ugly situation under your foot, because some people, you are supposed to be blessed in the north, you are in the south. Some of you are supposed to be blessed in the east, you are in the west. Wherever your foot are supposed to be blessed, may your leg carry you there this year, this year, this year, this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That is inherited reproach. There's another one that is very, very important. It's what we call circumstantial reproach circumstantial reproach meaning unexpected tragedy you see some family 
The parents will have four children, and in their very eyes, the four children will die. So, as siblings, before you know it, their, spouse, their spouses will be dying. If a man that is cursed, the wife will become a widow, God forbid. If it is a woman that is cursed, the husband will become a widower. They will bring this tragedy into the family that they are going. That will cause a constitutional reproach. Oh, hey, my name, mom. I'm May you never meet a constitutional reproach. Amen. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, other than a constitutional reproach, it will come why people are pursuing their glory. Suddenly, for you to graduate in school, you pass out that they say they pass out. Suddenly, before they collect the appointment letter, they say they pass out. Suddenly, two or three days to their wedding, they say they pass out. Suddenly, when they say they are going for the youth, youth service call, God forbid, God forbid, in the name of Jesus. they have us there. <laughs> ah! Ori Miko! Ori Miko! The Lord Almighty will not allow you to bury your children Amen. in your very eyes in the name of Jesus. Amen. There's a classical example in the Bible. A woman we call Naomi. You know, she emigrated from the land of Israel to the land of Moab because of economical challenges. Yes, Femi and Ruth. You can see that one in the book of Ruth. Ruth chapter 1, verse 1 to 7. Ruth 1, 1 to 7. In a space of a few years, Naomi met with life tragedy that was beyond what she could be handled by herself. She lost her husband, number one. She lost her two sons, number two. And in quick succession, all these things happened. But hear what she said. She said unto them, Call me not now me, that is sweetness. Call me Mara, bitter, for the Almighty God has dead bitterly with me. Ah! God will show you mercy. Amen. God will show us mercy. Amen. She said, I went out full, that was now me, and the Lord had brought me home. Again, what? Empty. Oh, man, you are a people. Some of you have gone to school, you, you come back with a failure. You will never be your portion. Amen. Some of you go out to marry. Your husband now will become, become your pain. Your spouse will become your pain. God will show you mercy. Amen. And Naomi said, why then do you not call me Naomi? Since the Lord has testified against me, May the Lord never testify against you. Amen. And the Almighty has afflicted me. That was now me. Ah! May God never afflict us so. Amen. Many people are raped today. Many people are being lied against for what they didn't know. They go to jail for what they didn't know. Some, they have nothing or little to show. And they are suffering. Some people, ordinary 1,000 naira to buy drug will make their child to die. Some, in life, they regard them as ex convict. Nobody wants to come near them. Some, they have accidents that are buried in for the fault that is not their own. You are standing suddenly on the road, God forbid. And the vehicle came from nowhere and cleared the person away. The person has no hand or no arm again. These are circumstantial. May you never encounter circumstantials. Amen. I said, may you never encounter circumstantial reproaches. Amen. God is saying to you that it's going to touch you in a special way tonight. Amen. And those things that have been making you to be afraid will not come your way again in the name of Amen. Jesus. Number two reproach that I know that you have to address is the one that has to do with self-inflicted. What do I say? Self-inflicted. That is on your own. Huh? Olofoju Warren. 
Afofa, which in English you say Afofa in English, the one you use your hand to curse. You want me to help you on that one? Let me tell you. We have some lifestyle today. All these Yahoo Yahoo boys, you know them. Their head and their hair will be dreaded to the extent that you begin to see multiple demons dancing on their head. Eh? And we don't normally see uh, the head of those 419 as demons are dancing. In fact, they will put a stage on their head. Some places on their head, eh? Baba will decorate it to the extent that they can carry load, evil load forever. They are the one that turn themselves to be Dada. Nobody made them Dada. Self inflicted reproach again is 419. You know them. Some of us we inflicted reproach in our life by going to parties every weekend. Like that woman in when my former church, uh, how do you call that woman? Uh, uh, Mama or Shimade or Jesu Made. She liked party too much. Some of us, our self-care reproach is drunkenness. Yes, we are still drinking as I speak now. Babo Loye, Peletieo, continually to drink your beer. You know, they say it is needed for our belly itch. So, you know, at that you can have belly itch. So you take some, a little bit of good that here and a little bit of Pelebe, uh, what do you call it? Mm. Uh, the Lord will help you. Mm. There are some of us, adultery and fornication is what we use as inflicted pain on ourselves. Some of us are hand robbers, some immoral hearts. But in all of these examples are bound all over that if you live a life of shame, I'm begging you to then turn back. Because if you don't turn back, it's going to be very, very nautical. Look at Noah. They say he was a great man. But he brought shame and reproach to himself by becoming what? A drunkard. Noah. If you don't believe Noah became a drunkard, go and look at the book of Genesis chapter 9, verse 21. Genesis 9, 21. When he became a drunkard. Because you may be talking that, that what is brother Atiba say? Genesis 9, 21. Lot also brought shame and disgrace when he got drunk and he slept with the daughter. That one too, you can see Genesis 19. 31 to 35. Genesis 19, 31 to 35. Samson also brought shame and reproach upon himself because he cannot con control his sexual appetite. Because the Bible said Samson went down to Gaza. Down, 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 down to Gaza. And uh, he saw a lot of alots there and he went into them. And afterward, he did it to the extent he made the Lila. And that was the end of his story, end of his life. David also had this uncommon disease, a reproach uh, on Bathsheba. And at the end of the day, reproach of Absalom, his ch child, came to, came, came to him. Listen to me, my people. Listen to me, my people. This is not the plan of God for you to bring reproach to your life. It's never the plan of God. It is, some people will say they are overseer or general overseer that they can begin to mess up with their body. We have seen many serving general overseer now that are there now, that their lives are horrible. But God will just be looking. The Bible is so complete in 1 Timothy 3, 2, he said, so that if you want to be as part of the office of a bishop, that you must prove yourself to be what? Blameless and innocent. And children of God above all reproach in the midst of crooked and perverse generation. God is seeing this. And why you must get rid of reproach tonight is because it will limit and stagnate your potential. All of you have a great potential. Like Brother Atiba now, 
You know, brother Atiba, God has given you the gift to be able to see a lot of vision. And you, brother Atiba, now use this vision to now begin to commercialize the vision. What are we talking about? Oh, because brother Atiba can see vision, he now begin to mess up himself with women. Or oh, things that are ephemeral. Things that vanity is upon vanity. All is vanity. I'm begging you today. Remove reproach in your life because it will make you stagnated. It will limit you. And I pray you will not limit yourself. Amen. Number three, again, why you must take away reproach? It will embarrass your destiny. There are some people. Look at uh, a boy now. That last, this time last year, he was still robbing people of their marijuana and the phone in another year. They called the boy portable. And all of a sudden, God brought him again from his uh, dungeon. Now, he now uses his mouth to say he's one of the founder of one million boys, the one that are terrorizing Lagos during uh, COVID-19. He put himself into what? Problem. So I beg, I'm begging you, do embarrass yourself so that God will not embarrass you. Number three, again, again, why you must get rid of reproach is that it is a terminator of life. Terminator of life. You couldn't get there, there. You couldn't get there, there. You couldn't get there, there. You not get I pray you for you. You will never ever be the one that will terminate your own life. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Again, what reproach can do is that it could lead to suicide. I told you my manager did that one now. Suicide. And in the Bible, Richard said, give me a giant or I do what? I die. I would rather die than not have a child. That was Richard. And Samson also said, God, just honor me one more time. Let me die with the Philistines. Instead of you to ask for mercy, he said, let me what? Die. But do you want reproach to live your life tonight? Yes. You want. If you want reproach to live your life, then you must cry to God. You must do what? Cry to God. Not only will you cry to God, you must say that God saved me out of bondage. You are in bondage, that God should save you out of bondage. And you have to make a renunciation, renunciation, renunciation that, no, God, I don't want to uh, continue this way. And I know as you remember God tonight, God will remember you. Mm -hmm. And every atom of reproach, failure, stagnation, they must pack out of your, take their bag and fly out of your life tonight. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I have no power of my own. Oluwa. I have no power of my own. Holy Spirit, I do run to you. Help me, I have no Power of my own. What about you? I have no power of my own. I have no power of my own. Holy, 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 holy. Since you have said so, that you don't have power of yourself, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to repeat after me with genuine <coughs> art. Please repeat after me so that reproach can live your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Every garment of reproach. Every garment of reproach. In my life, in my life, will be roasted to ashes tonight. Oh my God! Oh my God! Every power of reproach, every power of reproach, must live my life. Must live my life. Oh Lord! Oh Lord! 
Take away my reproach. Take away my reproach. My Father and my God. My Father and my God. All the glory, All the glory. that I carry, that I carry. We, never we never turn to reproach. Oh Lord, oh Lord. every arrow of reproach, by fire to descend down. By fire to descend down. By fire to descend down. Oh Lord. oh Lord, every owner of evil load or evil shame or reproaches as from tonight I summon you out of my life carry your load get out of my life every personality every power every spirit assigned to take my life by reproach die 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 oh lord Every ambushing power, every ambushing power of, my of my father's house. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Every, ambushing every ambushing power of my mother's house. My God, arise God arise and frustrate them. And them. Oh, Lord. oh Lord, arise tonight, arise tonight and, turn and turn my reproach and my despises out of my life. Out of my life. Oh, Lord. oh Lord, expose, expose and disgrace and every witchcraft. Every a sign, a sign to embarrass me, to embarrass me. Oh, Lord, oh Lord waste every evil mind in charge of my case in the name of Jesus oh Lord my father, oh Lord, my father. every evil bird flying fly over for my sake oh Lord, oh Lord. pull them down pull them down waste them today waste them today waste them today oh Lord, oh Lord. If there are evil invaders assigned to infiltrate my spirit, arrest them now. Oh Lord, let the assignment of evil invaders, let the assignment of the evil invaders against my family fail woefully. Oh Lord, oh Lord, let the joy of my enemy, joy of my enemy. Turn, to turn to their sorrow in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Oh, Lord. oh Lord, every instrument every of bewitchment, of bewitchment fashioned, against fashioned against my family be roasted tonight. Be roasted tonight. Oh, Lord. oh Lord, let every evil prophetic man pursue my, my life fall and slumber, fall and slumber in, the in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Lord. In, this in this season of opportunities, give me new life. Me new life. Open new door of favor for, for me in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, because, because you are the angel of God, arise and pursue my divine helper to locate me in the name of Jesus. I shall plug myself into the socket of favor. Oh Lord, oh Lord, every God ordains spouses, every God ordains spouses running, after my life, running after my life, will draw their peace, will draw their, peace, will draw their joy. Will draw their joy. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, every of my ordained spouses, every of my ordained spouses I, decree, I decree they will be able to sleep and do me well. God, as from tonight, arise, arise cover my life. Cover my life with honor, with, honor. With, favor. with favor, and mercy. And mercy. So, shall it be. so shall it be. Thank you, Father. Yes. And that we pray for Brother Atiba, Sister Atiba, and the children. Having prayed for other people, Lord, pray for us. Amen. Lord, open our heaven. Amen. Remove our reproaches. Amen. Send us joy. Amen. Goodness on our way. Amen. Bless ABGM. Amen. Bless our elders. Amen. Bless our youth. Amen. Bless all our teenagers. Amen. And our children. Amen. Our married spouses. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, together we will make heaven. Amen. And we will never be put to shame. Amen. Thank you, Saint of this. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, merciful name we pray. Amen. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Okay, let's take our Thanksgiving then. Uh, we're going on our way to sleep now. Oh, yeah. One night we praise the Lord. One night we praise the Lord. We are your night. We are night. We are night. We praise the Lord. We are night. We praise the Lord.
Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, Lord, goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our life. And we shall join the hands of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shout three thunders, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.